Welcome to Cube VR. Hello everybody, this is part 120 of my QVR playthrough, um, since the last part, as I said before, I'm just, I'm not uploading a lot of digging, not as much as I'd like to probably, but you know, um, not going on at the moment with the Euros and and just general life actually um yes yeah, so i'd already dug this out in the last part I'll, I'll show you what i've been doing i've been i thought i'd just started off thought i'll, I'll get a load of soil start digging along you know following the line of the pitch and because i was thinking how much soil do i need um now Obviously, 105 by 68 is the dimensions of the pitch. So that's, uh, I worked it out, it was 7,100 and something that come to. But that's doing it as meters, these are half meters. So, as in block length, this is actually 205 by 132. Quick off the end. So basically, looking about 14,000. Um, I need about 14,000 blocks just to lay the pitch. <laughs> now, obviously a quarter of the pitch is all well, nearly done. Because that doesn't include, you know, like runoffs at the side and stuff like that. Um, so a quarter of the pitch is already done. Um, so that took it down to I can't remember now. Hey, let's. I'm gonna need. So yeah, that's a, that's quite a bit, which is just of soil. Uh, so I thought I'd dig some soil up from there anyway, and uh, I mean I've got some. How much have I got now? I've got one, two, three. Four, five, five and a half chests done out of fourteen. So anyway, so yeah, I've been digging a bit as well. Um, so I want to get all the soil off before I'd start hacking at the rock if I can, because that's. Just digging rock out from underneath the soil is why you've got things like that where you've got little bits of soil that I can't really get to because there's nothing underneath them. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so basically I've been... I thought I've dug away quite a bit of soil here. And... Then I reached, when I got to here, I reached sand. And there's, if you look, you can see like you got a little strip of desert coming into this. So from here, it was all sand, and I've dug a, quite a bit of sand out. The, the difference in height between the sand and the soil, so it, you know, it, it does vary quite quite dramatically so there's some drop downs and so you so see yeah, and I've uh, I've done a lot of digging the sand I'm not keeping at the moment um, I'll probably need some for glass but I'm not going to need anywhere near the same as I do for soil or rock so anyway basically that's my uh, just to 
keep you appraised of where I'm in the digging. Let's get building. Oh, the other thing I have done is I... Um, my mate DJ come on. He was sort of on party chat and he was only look, see, now it's getting on. On screen share. And I demolished the roof of the, the alt end. That took a while, I tell you. That's the thing, you, you don't, you know... You don't think how, um... Oh, you pinnacle just sort of haven't picked any bloody sand, any stone up. No point coming here to build. I've got no bloody stone in the inventory. Um, you know, you don't appreciate the numbers involved until you start working it out. Um, I wouldn't, you know... Without actually thinking of it and going through the numbers, I wouldn't have thought just the pitch all on its own is going to take 14,000 blocks of soil. You know, it's... Uh... <laughs> it's a bloody lot of work. But... It'll be worth it when it's all done. I hope. Nah, it will. Get rid of the sand because I don't need that. Either. Right, let's get. Come on. So got eight, 800 in each. There's a lot of the stuff from the roof. So we'll need that. So you got 800 in each, each chest. Ah, okay. Yes, it's uh, it's surprising quite the amount of um, amount of soil needed for the pitch. It's a bloody surprise to me. Right, so we've got I haven't got much white stone. I don't need that. Actually, that can be useful. Um, oh. oh, well, this should be soon. Uh, I'll knock that down shortly because I'm. 
I'm going to need more chests. Definitely going to need more chests. Oh, yep. charging and then they'll be able to do that yes.
Oh, you bastard. Oh, that's running out by the looks of it. Getting nervous a lot. Ah, uh, yeah. Shit. I'm good at falling off things. Shame it's not an Olympic. Oh, fuck. I <laughs> did it again then. Shame it's not an Olympic event. Oh yeah, pillow. Yeah, you know, at least you know, with a large expanse like this, done, you will get some sort of a bit more um, trying to how to put it. You'll get a better perspective of the size of it. Stands exactly a hundred meters wide, so that's two hundred blocks.
So this is about 60... 60 wide. So it's 100... 100 200. So it's about a third of it. About a third of the width. I'm meant to put some bloody bread on. Balls. Let's get some Indian spice bread baking. It's three hours, so. So, um, oh fuck. You don't take long to set up, so, because we've got the full, when this finishes, I'm gonna. I'm gonna watch football, I'm gonna watch football. The Euros are on, um, don't know whether I'm gonna be watching Italy, Croatia, or Spain, Albania. Just have time. It doesn't take long to. Put an Indian spice bread. And the chili pepper loaf. The chili pepper loaf's quicker to get in the bread maker, so, bread machine. So I'll uh, do that one first. I should have got them done earlier. Oh, I've run out. How are we doing for time? Oh, 25 minutes. Friendly one, um, I used to go in down to see her and she's got a bread maker. So I'd never ever consider getting, um, but always just bought the cheapest bloody store bought loaf to be honest. But I had some of the bread she made here, it was bloody gorgeous. So I ended up getting one and, uh, Chili pepper loaf, oh, beautiful. In the recipe, you, you just use red chilies. I think it says put five in there. But I did that, and you, 
it was nice very very subtle you just get like a uh, almost i don't know how you'd put it you eat the bed oh that's a nice bed oh wait a minute Oh, pardon me. Yes, so, um, yeah, very subtle. You know, really nice bed, and then you just get a tiny little, just a t tiny little after t aftertaste of, of the chilli pepper. Almost like the ghost of the chilies just kissed your tongue. It, it's very, very, very subtle. Um, which was nice, but I like, you know, there's no heat to it. Even somebody that doesn't like hot stuff would not have a problem with that, I wouldn't have thought. No heat at all. So I then tried it with a few more chilies in, and it was starting to get like a bit more very, very subtle heat right at the end. Um, how I'll do it now is I've been doing it with uh, two packets of scotch bonnets, a packet of red chilies, and um, extra hot chilli powder in there as well and you do get a heat it's not like um, sort of Madras Vindaloo type heat but there's there's definitely heat there when you eat the bread it's, it's very nice but uh, one of the carers um, I, I said I'd make her a loaf because uh, she, she wants her daughter to to try because her daughter likes hot stuff and I think she, she, she'd like she's trying to get her daughter to agree going halves on getting one of these bread makers because it's so easy to do water, bit of oil half your flour in uh, chop your chilies up to got like uh, the chopping attachment on a blender I'll just put it in that Use it for a couple of seconds, bung them in, a uh, bit of paprika, I add my extra chilli powder, rest of the flour on top, and a uh, bit, bit, bit of salt, bit of sugar, and dry acting yeast, and just leave it for three hours. It's really, really good. I've also done um, an Indian spice loaf which uses like curry paste in it and I, I tried it with madras and again that's got no heat but you do you do get like the curry taste from it it's bloody lovely and then one of the other cameras who's actually got she after she tried some of the bread I'd done um, she actually brought one bought one of the bed makers and uh, I said I'd do one so she can have a taste see what it, she thinks of it I'm going to say I haven't brought any shop bread since I've had it because you know things it doesn't last as, the bread doesn't last as long because it's not bloody loads and loads of preservatives in it and also it doesn't last long because it's really nice and it gets eaten quickly so I bet when you come to watch me 
make a mess of oh come on I think I've got to eat it further up and that's sure he's gonna accept it from here Yeah, when you come on to watch this a bit, you didn't expect a five minute discourse on, on bread. So you never know what you're going to learn in a day. I know what I'm going to learn. I should have bloody knocked this tree down before I fucking covered it in bricks. That's how uh, I can't get it that high up. Oh, yeah, shit. No, then. Only if we sit there. No. Oh well. It would have been quick if I'd have just done that in the bloody first place, wouldn't it? Oh yes, I know that. I don't need a bloody hint. Oh, I'm sort of floating in the air. Maybe they just need to dance. Oh, how did you say that? It would be nice to um, to get this uh, all done up to the up to the top. I should have. Ah, uh, but there's always me falling off the. 
fucking thing. Hello dear. Oh, little bunnies, the bunnies are back. For ages, that I went, I didn't know where they had they gone, but there was no bunnies for quite a while. Thought I'd been deserted. I didn't miss them there, oh I did, yeah. It's all sad. Oh, there we go. Oh, 38 minutes coming up. I might do, I might get this done. At least up to. And the third of it. The tennising part does. One of the little PSVR headphones have come out of this little, little thing where it clips in. Because obviously I don't use that. That doesn't look like it's any better though, to be honest, but... No, that's one out as well. Shut oh, I didn't want to get out. Yeah. Oh, I just saw it. I think I, I did add one in my bloody... Add one in my um, inventory. Have a nice evening. Oh, yep.
Şurayı da hiç kimse Oh, it's going to cut that bloody tray down. Well, I'm not going to go all the way over now, I just want to try and get um, Come on I just want to try, you know, get a reasonable amount done on so I can uh, take see some sort of idea of it. That'll do. These must automatically drain over time because I haven't I don't think I've used that too tough. Thirteen minutes. Ah, uh, 
que esto lo sigo.
Oh shit, from that bloody brick. Oh, I keep taking bloody snapshots on them. Ooh, five minutes. So, yeah, I'll... Right then, so let's see what it looks like. I mean, obviously, when you've got all you know the en entrances in, that's gonna make a difference but that's the uh That's the depth of it. So obviously going right from the, the corner there, that's that's gonna be a nice big stand. Obviously these side ones are gonna be fucking huge. Yeah, please know that's coming on. Need to get these cut down, don't I? If I dig all these out, it's going to be a pain in the ass to get to that. Oh, um, oh, I've got time. Yeah, I've got two minutes. Oh, I need some gold.
there one other thing I did. I'm trying to forget to. I think I uh, took you on a tour of the, the perimeter. But, uh, I've worked out the R5 line as well. So actually, I can take these down now. I don't need them all. Yeah, so this is the uh, that's the R fire line. So obviously, you know, it gives a bit of what's it name? Which is going to be bloody dugout. But I want to get all the soil out first because he say like it's harder digging that out because I keep falling through. Better to get the soil off and then just dig the stone down to the level. But I was needing sound for the stuff and it was you know you live and learn, don't you? Right then. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Oh, 30 seconds before it starts overwriting and I wanna go and quickly get my bed going before the football starts, so I'm gonna call that a night. Um yeah. Please with that. Right. <laughs> Take care, everybody. Have a lovely evening, and I'll see you soon. Try to be. <laughs>